Online. Wait a minute. Is the mic actually on? Yes, it is. Okay, good. All right. Sorry we're starting a little late, but uh, I have poor time management skills. So that's how that shit happens. But uh, yeah, welcome to the first episode of Casual Competitor. The uh, show where a complete noob plays fighting games and acts like he knows what he's doing. Because, um, I, I don't know, like, mostly this is just an excuse for me to play fighting games, but... Also, like, th there's a lot of fighting game streamers and fighting game YouTubers out there, and a lot of them are, if, if not pros, then at least, like, like, pro-adjacent, I guess you could say. And, um... You know, the, the fighting game community can, you know... Fighting games can seem pretty inaccessible, since... You know, they're pretty hard to learn, and the community can generally be... Uh, kind of closed off, kind of elitist, if you don't know what an FADC cancel is, or what have you. So... I just wanted to make this show as, like... A connoisseur of fighting games, who's not good at fighting games. Just to kind of show that, like, you don't need to be Daigo. You don't need to be... Takedo or Sonic Fox or Xeon to be able to you don't need to be an international tournament level player to be able to enjoy fighting games and we're gonna start off um as per request of my uh, lovely followers on Twitter we're starting off with Soul Calibur 2 and I just want to say you guys made the right choice like I almost didn't put the poll up and I was just gonna stream this game regardless but I left it up to my followers and they made the right choice because this was the game that got me into fighting games. It's not the very first fighting game I played. Um, that honor goes to, um... Like, uh... I think I, I played Super Smash Brothers before this. But, um... That, that wouldn't really be considered a traditional fighting game. And I think I also played a little bit of Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter on my cousin's MAME emulator. So that was a fun time. But this was the one that made me notice fighting games. Like, this is the one that got Senpai to notice them. So, it holds a special place in my heart. And you're gonna see many of the reasons why in just a second. First off, one of the hypest intros ever. You ready? Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords. Eternally. Oh, I said the thing! Alright, everybody, he said it. We can go home. Gift bags at the door. Ah, oh, God, I'm sorry. I just love this intro so much. This is back when fighting game intros were the hype as shit. Yes! There he is! It's the reason I got this game as a kid! Ah! Oh! Best guest character ever! So good! Ooh, and now it gets somber and sexy with Raphael. The Spanish guitar, even though Raphael is French. Kinda weird, but whatever, it sounds cool. Oh, and there's Necrid! And enjoy this moment while it lasts, buddy. You will never show up ever again. Ever. Kind of a shame. I, I, I don't... I think... I'm probably in the minority on this one, but I kind of like Necrid. He has, he, has, he has, like, a cool fighting style. Even, if, even his design kind of doesn't really fit. I don't know. I, I think there's potential there. Like, I at least want them to do what SNK does and, like, make a new character... If they're not going to bring Necrid back, I want them to at least, you know, make a new character with his fighting style. Because I think there's potential there, you know? Aw, oh, shit. Nightmare. Yes! Soul Calibur 2. God, man. fighting game intros used to be the hypest shit in the world. Like, it used to be the best part of the game. Soul Calibur 
Yeah! Let's do it! Uh, we'll just start with the basic arcade run for now. And, uh... I don't know. I'm t I, I don't really have a set plan for this episode. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna see where the wind takes me. Gonna start with an arcade battle. And then, uh... And, uh, just... Maybe I'll do Weapon Master mode. Who knows? Uh, but it doesn't look like they let me do a new game, so that might not happen. Regardless, let's just get started. I've spent enough time gushing about this game. Let's just get into it. Yes! Yes! For those wondering why we're not playing the HD re-release of this game, this is why. Hell yes. We gotta go blue. Yes. Okay, so for those of you not not in the know, the cool thing about Soul... Well, one of the cool things about Soul Calibur 2 is that it had, um... Oh, hang on. Uh, I just noticed that the screen on my stream is a little too small, so let's fix that real quick. Hey, whoa, whoa, not that, not that. Oh, oh shit. Okay, hang on. Stay with me now. I got this. Oh shit, no I don't. <laughs> there we go. And just... And... Okay. Sorry about that. Now we can begin. So yeah, like I was saying, one of the cool things about this game is... It, it came out on GameCube, Xbox, and PS2. And depending on which console you got it for, you got a different guest character. So the PS2 got uh, Heihachi from the Tekken series. Uh, the Xbox got Spawn, who is uh, now in Mortal Kombat 11, so he just loves he just loves being in fighting games, apparently. And the GameCube version got motherfucking Link, which is awesome. Look at this shit. Oh yeah, I can do a down thrust. And they didn't- look at this, I can also do his bow! Hang on, he also has bombs, how do I- Piss off, I'm trying to do bombs. Yeah, there it is, there it is! <laughs> I haven't played this in a while, so don't expect, like, high-level play or anything. Don't expect high-level play from any of these streams. Oh, God. Like, okay, I know I'm sort of talking from a place of nostalgia here, but I genuinely believe that this is one of the best guest characters in fighting game history. Maybe in video game history. I mean, Heihachi and Spawn are cool. Don't get me wrong. Those are very cool characters. But Link in a Soul Calibur game. Like, that that is some next level shit. It's just such a perfect fit, and it's such a great addition. And I'm so happy they did it. And I'm so happy that Namco is still continuing the tradition of putting wacky-ass guest characters in their fighting games. Even to this day, we've got 2B and uh, Geralt from The Witcher in Soul Calibur 6. And we have <laughs> Negan from The Walking Dead in Tekken 7. Why? I don't know and I don't care. It's great. Just, Namco, keep putting fucking crazy-ass guest characters in your fighting games because that's what got me into them. Like, Link being in Soul Calibur 2 is helped make me the man that I am today. And that's not a great, that is not a great argument, but I stand by it. This is the best. The absolute best. Oh, and that sick ass narrator, hell yeah. All right, charade. One of many, uh, one of many copycat characters that Namco has made. Oh shit. Okay, I'm getting my shit rocked. I should probably, yeah, I should probably sidestep that. Shit. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So what the computer just did there is something that's actually very, very hard to do. And after this arcade run, I'll show it off. But uh. Yeah, that, that, that move is, uh, that move is interesting, let's put it like that. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty damn effective, but, um, you gotta jump through some hoops to get it to work. No, 
that shit. Get out of here. Takes my bow! No, wait, no, shit, my bow! <laughs> Guard impact. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Okay. That was a little too close. Yeah. Alright, what weapon are you gonna use now? Mitsurugi, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> I keep cycling through my weapons but not actually using them. so far but I haven't had to use a continue yet so fuck it I'm happy oh nice oh god these stages these stages look so good like that's something that Soul Calibur that's something that's always been great about Soul Calibur and something I've always admired it for their stage design is just Gorgeous. Like, even in this early phase, even in these early GameCube days, there's just such a feeling of grandeur and epicness to these stages. Like, they put so much effort and detail into the background, such that even though you're technically confined to this small space, it still feels like you're part of just this epic, huge world around yourself and it just feels so good it makes every match just feel like bigger than fighting games you know it's so damn cool i was not ready i hear you you get a down thrust for that ha 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 God, they even included, like, the little Legend of Zelda victory get item chime. So good, Maxi. I just... God, look at these stage... Look at this stage design. It's ridiculous. Like, they went five steps further than they needed to. It's great. Oh! I accidentally performed a pro dodge there. Oh shit. Okay, can't be getting cocky. Ugh. Oh damn, you can do that three times. Nice. Oh shit. Okay. Ugh. Got him. Take this! Nope. Yeah! Alright. Uh, oh! <laughs> For some reason I thought that was round w round two. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm down to kick your ass some more, fucking nunchuck Elvis. Ow. Okay, you know what? Why didn't he do the full thing? God damn it. Alright. Oh shit. Oh god! <laughs> okay, that was a funny little air collision, but it kinda ended in my death. And I landed direct- No, I can't! I landed directly on my neck. I am now paralyzed. Asshole. You did this to me. Oh! That sucked. Alright, nice. So far, so good.
Da -da -da. Oh, Yoshimitsu! Oh, if it wasn't for Link being in this... Yoshimitsu is my main in most Soul Calibur games. I'm not so good with him. He's also in Tekken. I'm not as good with him in Tekken. Like, for some reason, his moveset just doesn't click the same way that it does in this game. But in Soul Calibur, Yoshimitsu is just my absolute favorite. No question. He's the fucking best. He's Samurai Robin Hood. Like, how the fuck are you gonna front to that? That's great. He has all these wacky moves where he fucking spits poison gas and commits seppuku just to kill you. And look at that, he just... He just used his teleport and it accidentally killed him. Like, that's the kind of goofy shit that makes Yoshimitsu the absolute best. Alright. Now, use... Use the bomb, please. I'm trying to figure out how to throw this damn bomb and it's just not happening. Just use my soul charge. There we go. Didn't do much, though. Yeah, that's right. You can do, uh... If you press the Z button, or uh, alternatively, all three attack buttons, I believe, uh, you do what's called a soul charge, and I believe that powers up your attacks. And makes them do more damage. Ooh, the destined battle. No, you're the one who needs to learn from me, motherfucker. You're the new guy in the- so, Raphael is new to this game. You're the new guy. I'm the one with, like, decades of experience at this point. You're the one who needs to learn from me. Get out of here. God, and they even gave him the Legend of Zelda theme. It sounds so good! Like, that's, a, that's another re- that's, that's another reason Link fits so well. Like, just- this orchestral arrangement of the Zelda theme just fits in so well. Like, again, like, part of it's nostalgia talking, I will admit that. But I do legit- but I do think that Link has legitimate claim to, like, being one of the best guest characters in fighting games. Because you can make the argument that, you know, someone like Robocop in Mortal Kombat 11 or Negan in Tekken 7, you can make the argument that they don't really fit. Like, it doesn't really make sense for them to be in the game. Like, they, like their styles just kind of clash. But Link just fits in so perfectly. Okay, maybe Raphael is the one who needs to teach me. I'm not doing so well right now. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that was fancy. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been a while. I think you need to shut up. Alright, round two. Here we go. That's more like it. That's something I miss from older Namco fighting games, is that they used to give you, like, a... They used to give you a replay of the last few seconds of the round. It was really cool, and for some reason they... And, and, and like, I remember in uh, some games, like Tekken 5, they would even go slow-mo for the final hit. It was really cool. I don't know why they stopped doing this. I guess, I guess just... To make it to get to the next round faster, but I don't know, man. I just this is really cool. Look, you can even control the camera. I just think it's really cool getting this nice little highlight reel of the round. Oh shit! 
Final boss time! This motherfucker. Alright. So, uh, something else I appreciate about this game. The final boss of this game, Inferno. Unlike many, many other fighting game bosses throughout history, uh, he's not horrendously cheap. He's just another copycat character like Charade or Mokujin. Which admittingly is a little lame, but... For, for the sake of getting through arcade mode, I appreciate that it's not like Omega Rugal or some shit, you know? Or Gil. I also, uh, that's, an, uh, that's another nice little detail I like. You like knock the fire out of him and then he gains it back and switches to another style. Like even though it's not very hard, and that does make it feel a little bit anticlimactic. It's still very, it's still really cool. Like, this is still a cool looking boss fight. It is a shame that you can't really make out what he is because he's always covered in fire. And now that I'm saying all this out loud, Inferno's kind of lame. <laughs> but fuck it, I like him anyway. You did it, Lank. You did it. Link came to this world in order to defeat the evil which threatened Hyrule. After a long journey, Link finally succeeded in sealing away the terrible evil. And just- Oh my god, this- this ending music is going so hard, I love it! In doing so, he not only saved his homeland from peril, but also maintained the tranquility of this world. Link then quietly left this world, a faint echo of his ocarina was all that remained. It <laughs> People are going to yell at me for mispronouncing Ocarina, I know it. I, I can never remember if it's Ocarina or Ocarina. Like, that always escapes me, the pronunciation of that. Whatever, we won! Alright. Um... Wait, are those really my... What? Those can't be my clear times. That's... Hang on. Okay, it's just not recording my clear time for some reason. That's weird. Alright. Alright, that didn't go terribly, but... It also went terribly, so uh, I'm going to try uh, getting in some training with Link. Uh, let's use Assassin, because nobody cares. Assassin is literally just like punk-ass Yun Sung, and that's all he is. So Calibur 2 has this weird kind of thing where, like, these bottom three characters are just, like, genericized. <laughs> is genericized even a word? I don't know, but you get it. Like, generic versions of uh, other characters. Like, uh... Lizard Man is just Sophitia slash Cassandra. Assassin is just Yunsung. And, uh, Berserker is just Astaroth. And I think they made these guys specifically for the sole purpose of having, like, cannon fodder for, uh, Weapon Master mode, which is, like, the adventure mode in this game. So that's why they're here. And they decided, eh, let people play as them, why not? They're basically clone characters, but fuck it. Damn. Hey, damn it! So Axe throws the boomerang. So A throws the boomerang. 
Y fires the bow. And X is the bomb. Got it. I oh, nice! He has, a ni he has a nice quick uh, sweep into high combo there. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. And it looks like it's a true combo, too, so that's good. Yep, he has the up thrust. Oh my god, it combos into itself! Was that for real? Holy shit, hang on. Oh my god, the up thrust combos into itself. That is fucking bananas. Holy shit. Uh, hang on. I just noticed my uh, Streamlabs is having problems connecting to chat, so I am just going to... Open up my Twitch account real quick. And go to my stream. To make sure... That I'm seeing the chat right. To make sure... Oh! <laughs> Hope that didn't get into the mic. Alright, there we go. So that's fixed. Alright. Alright, so the weapons, as cool as they are, are pretty situational. That is a very small explosion. Uh, what other combos do I have? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right! I can hold it down to get the spin attack. Yeah! And it's unblockable! How do you like that shit? Yeah, so that's something, uh, interesting I should point out. You might have noticed that sometimes, uh, weapons are charged with electricity or fire. Uh, when a weapon is charged with electricity, that means it's a guard break attack. So if your enemy is guarding, it will automatically break their guard. And weapons and attacks that are laced with fire are unblockable attacks, meaning they just straight up cannot be blocked. However, most unblockable attacks have a very, very long startup, so it's very easy to see them coming and react accordingly, either by backstepping or sidestepping out of the way. Like, in this case, if he just backstepped a little bit, like, he would, I would completely miss that entire thing. And as you can see, there's also a long recovery time, so, uh... So, yeah, it's, it's a very, very risky move. Hey, Klonoa Dream Traveler's here. How you doing, man? Good to see ya. All right. I, I can't... Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't believe that combo's into itself. That is so goofy. You too, your Discord doesn't show you as streaming, though. Really? That's fucking weird. Wonder why. Huh. And for some reason- and for some reason my chat window's not working. Ah. Come on, you bastard. Hang on. I'm trying to fix it. Hmm. All right, hang on. I'm gonna... Early installment weirdness. Yeah! That seems to be the case. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna end the stream real quick. And, uh, then cut back and see if that fixes it. So, I'll be back in just a minute.